Hello and welcome to Groupism Tutorials. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn how to automate our process with SQL Server database using Blue Prism Actions. We will use SQL Actions in many use cases. Some of the use cases are employee history verification, payroll and options management. Before working with these actions, let me show you how to import the SQL Server Utility VBO. If you see on my screen, let me drag and drop an action onto the canvas. Now, if you see over here, whenever you're going to select visible business object as SQL Server, we don't find the SQL Server Utility VBO because of that VBO that is SQL Server Utility VBO has not imported to work on these SQL actions. How can we go ahead and import the SQL Server Utility VBO? Go to File, Import, Process or Object, select that. Over here, click on the Browse. It will navigate to the Blue Prism Automate as well as VBOs folder. You can see over here, there are different VBOs that we have to work on the different kind of actions as part of the Blue Prism. Now, our agenda is that we need to work with the SQL Server, right? So over here, you can find BPA object slash data slash the SQL Server is the VBO which we want to import. Click on Open. Click on Next to import the VBO and then I'm going to click on next to finally to import the VBO successfully into the blue prism. Now, if you see over here, the VBO with the name of SQL Server has been imported successfully into the database. Click on next and finally click on finish. Now, if you go for the properties, there you will find the business object which just we have imported. You can see over here data hyphen SQL Server. So this is where in the upcoming sessions, we are going to work on these different actions as part of the SQL Server actions. All right. Now, if you see over here to work with the SQL Server actions, first of all, we need to install SQL Server on our local. On my desktop, I have already installed SQL Server. If you want to know how to install SQL Server on your local or on your server, I have given the link in the description below. Please check it out how to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I have given the URL over there. If you see on my screen, I have successfully installed SQL Server 2012 on my desktop so that we can work on the different SQL actions to connect our database. All right. Now, there are different SQL actions available in the Blue Prism to work on the database. One is set connection, second one open and close, third one execute, fourth one we are having get records affected, get collection, get CSV, get CSV file, get number, get text. Along with that there are different actions to begin transaction, commit transaction and rollback and finally we are having configure. Let me explain you about these actions one by one. First of all, if you see over here, I'm having set connection. The purpose of this action is you to connect different databases in Blue Prism by using Windows or SQL Server authentication. To connect the database, we need to provide server name, database, username and password. If you see over here, on my screen that I'm having SQL Server Management Studio, where you can see over here, the server name I'm going to give my desktop and the name of the extension for the SQL Express. And you can see the authentication over here. I'm having Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. Based on this, I'm going to connect to my database over there inside the SQL Server, I'm having multiple database. These three things that I will give, one is server name, database name, username and password so that I will set the connectivity between Blue Prism and the SQL Server by using set connection action. Now, second one, open and close. What is the purpose of these actions? To execute the queries in the database like stored procedures, queries to insert the data, we need to open the connectivity with the SQL Server by using open and close actions. As a good practice, we will close the connection as early as possible once the query has been executed successfully at the database side. So one 
action that we'll use to establish the connection or to open the connection with the SQL server. And the next one to close the connection, we'll use close action. Now, execute action. The purpose of this execute action is to execute store procs or we will execute queries by using this execute action at the database side. All right. Now, if you observe the fourth section, we are having get records affected, get collection, get CSV, get CSV file, get number, get text. These are all to retrieve the data from the database. You may retrieve the data from the database or else you can get the CSV file. You can get the collection by using different actions as part of the Blue Prism SQL Server utility actions. And you can see over here, begin, commit transaction and rollback. These things are used whenever you add begin transaction before the execution of the statement or the action, it automatically makes the transaction explicitly and it will hold a lock on the table so that what will happen until the transaction is completed, it won't release the lock on the particular table. If it is successfully executed, then it will be committed. If there is any issues in the queries, then it will roll back automatically. That is the purpose of begin and commit transaction as well as roll back. And finally, we'll have configure. The purpose of this uh, configure action is that we'll raise an exception if there is any failure in our database queries while you are going to connect from Blue Prism to SQL Server. In that case, we'll use configure. These are all the different actions which we're having as part of the SQL Server instance. All right, to make you understand, SQL Server Utility provides an interface for interacting with the SQL Server instance. I hope you understand how to work with the different actions of the SQL Server by using Blue Prism. In the next tutorial, we will learn each and every action in detail to work with SQL actions. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.